Hey there, Ryan Kingsline here. I just got off the phone with somebody who was interested in the bootcamp and had a problem that I think might relate to you and certainly related to me. It was an individual who had gone to a school, a nameless school, but one of those schools that just does not serve the industry as well as I wish it would, and gone through the entire program, was, was voted the most likely to get a job, got out and is struggling to get a job and doesn't know what to do. And on top of that has kids, has a wife, has a family that he has to take care of and doesn't know what to do. He's got a job, right? He is doing his job, taking care of his family. He is working and providing for them, but it's in an area that's not his passion. It's in an area that doesn't bring him fire and help him feel alive. He knows what helps him feel alive. He understands, he's got it, okay? But here's the deal. When I have the conversation with him, when I'm talking on the phone about him, about this career and about what he has done and about what he wants to do, I hear one thing that I've heard hundreds of times. I'd like to do this. I enjoy doing that. It'd be cool if this. And the really important part of that is the utter vagueness in the entire lineup. I'd like, I enjoy, it would be cool, but this is a job, a competitive job. You want to do a job that when there's one application for it, there's 800 portfolios there. You want to go into that situation in a world that's governed by sharks, in companies that are traded on the stock exchange that are worth billions and billions of dollars, on properties that are worth billions of dollars, on properties that if they don't succeed will tank entire companies, if not divisions, if not entire companies, and have. The layoffs that come in this industry don't come because the artist doesn't do his job. They, become, they come because decisions are made, financial decisions or art directing decisions that just do not help this thing and ultimately sink it, usually financial. Let's blame it on the finance geeks because they're the ones that are building this architecture. And this is the point. If you don't know how to deal with that architecture, if you go into that conversation and your thing is, is I'd really like, I enjoy this. You're going to be eaten a fucking live. You are not coming out of that meeting alive with your hopes, your dreams intact. You are not. They are going to eat you. So what do you want to do? What is the purpose of you listening to this video, of talking about this, of doing this work night after night after night? Why are you doing this to yourself? Is it because you like this? Because this would be cool? Wouldn't it be fun? Stop playing games with your life. Get serious about what you want to do. Do you know which company you want to work at? Yes or no? Not, it would be nice, this would be fun, that would be cool. Get serious. Do you know which company you want to work at? Is there one next door to you where you can get to know the artists? where you can have coffee with these guys. Is there one next door to you? Find it. Are there artists near you doing this work? Find them. The individual I was talking to is from Chicago. There's a game studio down the street. And when push comes to shove, that's what he says he wants to do. Now's the next question. Do you know any of these artists? Do you know who they are? Get serious about this. We're not playing here, 
All right, play is for college. That's liberal arts, that's play, okay? This is serious. Get the work done that matters. Do you know any of these artists? Yes or no? No, is usually the answer. In less than a minute, I have found the LinkedIn and the art station of the artist. Go on to LinkedIn.com, search the name of the studio, look for the job position, character artist, environment artist. Grab the person's name, go on to Facebook, go on to ArtStation. What kind of work do they do? Does your work look like their work? See, too often, this is, this is one of the most important things for me to communicate to you. People go into this career, into this job with love in their heart, and their strategies are those of an artist. And they get eaten alive. And they burn out. Some are burned out before they get a job. Some get the job and they burn out in the job because they've forgotten that this is a job but it is a moment in which you get to combine your capacity to provide for your family with the passion that's inside you. And if you're coming at that from this wishy-washy perspective with a bunch of dreams in your pockets and that's the only thing you got, it's going to be disappointing. If you want those dreams to succeed, you gotta bring more than just the dreams. You gotta bring some ammunition. You gotta bring some strength. You gotta bring some power. And where do you get that power as an artist? Because see, doubt is actually a sign of intelligence. The fact that you're doubting your work means that you are rationally evaluating this. Now, if that doubt calcifies into fear, and that fear calcifies into paralysis. That's a problem. That's a mental problem. That's a game you lost in, up here. But we can deal with that. Doubt in and of itself is just being intelligent and weighing all of your variables. It doesn't mean that you're not strong. It doesn't mean that you can't do this. It means you're bringing your brain full tilt into this too. Just don't tip into fear which is you've lost it. You're, you're not thinking clearly anymore. Now it becomes personal and it's identity and now that's where weakness creeps in. Does your work look like their work? Because here's the secret to getting a job. You heard me say this a dozen times, I'm sure. Here's the secret to getting a job. Your work looks like you should be working at the studio. None of these companies are going to take a chance on you. They don't give a fuck about you. Yet. You gotta give them a reason to. You gotta help them see your value. And your power comes in understanding what they need. And you will not understand what they need if you have not done your homework. If you have not linked in, art stationed this, if you do not understand who the people are, what they produce, if you have not looked at any of the ZBrush summits that they have done, if you've not looked at gum roads that they've produced, if you've not looked at tutorials that they've written, articles that they've written in 3D World, if you've not Googled the artist at that studio and seen what they did, you are not prepared for this job. It has nothing to do with your skill. It has nothing to do with your desire or your heart. It comes to do with the fact that you do not have the strategies, you are not using the strategies that are gonna get you a job, and it's so damn simple to get those strategies. I just gave them to you. So when I talk to you on the phone, I'm gonna to wanna to know who are the artists that work at the studio that you want to work at? Have you done your homework? If you have not done your homework, your hopes and dreams do not have power and strength to bring them into reality. And if you have a family to support as I do, hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams demand, they require 
they ask and they should get your respect. And your dreams need your respect and they need you to show up and do the preparation and do the work so that they can become a reality. So that your life can grow. Because this is your life. This is serious. If you align your passions, and I don't mean like the things that are just nice about life. I mean the fact that you are going to work in this industry and every day you're going to go in there and work 12 hours a day, sometimes six days a week, and you're going to make that sacrifice and not see your family for that extra period of time that maybe this other job would have given you. If you're going to go through all of that, You got to, you got to understand why. You got to have, you got to just know inside you that this is the thing that's going to make your life better. And you probably already do, but you're not doing the work yet. And that's what we got to do. In fact, do it now. If you're watching this right now and you want to work in the game industry, you can head over to GameArtInstitute.com, sign up for one of the boot camp interviews, right? You can do that. And before you do it, or before you have the meeting with me tomorrow or the next day, do your homework. Give your dreams the respect that they deserve by preparing for them to actually come true. There are so many dreamers on, in this world. There's 800 applications for one job. 99% of them are dreamers. Game studios know this. And they know how to weed them out very quickly. If you do the work that matters, if you look at the artists and you're looking at their work, as I'm looking at their work right now, and you say, okay, I've got to do work that's at this level, and you do that work that's at this level. It might take you two months, it might take you two years, but it doesn't matter. See, most of us want that job, and we just shoot for it, right? We think we're gonna just hit that home run and we're gonna score, and we spend our whole life trying to hit that home run. This is one of my coaches, one of the most important things one of my coaches said to me was, this notion of don't hit home runs, hit singles. Don't go for the moonshot. Every day, work on your work to make it look like what it needs to look like. But most artists have no idea of what the end target is because it's all about this is nice, this is fun. And so you get into this explorative mode and you can spend years, I have spent years doing that. Stop doing that, take this freaking thing seriously. Find out what your end target is. What's the studio you wanna work at? Who are the artists that are there? What does their work look like? And every day you move towards that goal. That's what we do in the boot camp. So I want to see you in the boot camp over at GameArtInstitute.com. I want to be talking to you on the phone if this is what you want to do. Because nobody is talking about this. You got people spending $100,000 on college with all the intention in their heart of getting a job and being let down. Because colleges have let game studios down for decades. Game studios do not trust colleges. I have been on the software side of this. There's colleges, there are colleges across the, the country that for over eight years after ZBrush became a default in the industry, they still wouldn't teach ZBrush. You had to know ZBrush to get a job. They still did not teach ZBrush because they don't care about the industry. That's not their focus. But $100,000 of your money to people who do not care that this is what you need to do to get a job at this day and age is not the problem of the colleges anymore. 
That is your problem. And my problem. And it's why I built the boot camps. It's why I'm doing this and it's why I'm here talking right now this seriously, this passionately, with things falling down around me. It's because nobody is telling you the truth. Not because they don't want to, just because they're not focused on it. They don't care that much about it. They got other things going on. This is what I do. And I want to have that phone conversation with as many of you as possible so that we can get straight on this. Because they don't, the game industry doesn't care where you work. They don't care where you went to school. They don't care if you're a night restocker at Costco like I was. They don't care if you're in Belarus like Vitaly Bulgarov was. They do not care. They care that you have done this work. That you have put the time in your life to prove to them and show them that you can do this work so that they are confident in hiring you. Hiring somebody is incredibly expensive. Thousands and thousands of dollars involved in interviews and manpower and then lost, you know, people that get in there and then don't work out. Every hire is thousands and thousands of dollars. They want to be sure that you are going to do this and that they can get this done with you. Because at the end of the day, this is a money game for them. $80 billion market capitalization for Time Warners, right? And what are the game studios that they have? Do you want to work at one of those game studios? Then you got to understand that what you do produces revenue for the companies and what they need to do is have a cost efficient variable ratio to how much of your time it takes to produce this. But what happens is, is artists get all panties in a bunch that it's all the finance geeks. You, you and I do not have jobs without finance geeks. We don't. It doesn't exist. The money, the management of it, the organization of it. You need to talk this language with these people. And you need to know when to turn the artist on and when to turn this other side on. This other side that can help you manage your life and help you grow in your career. And that's what my conversation with you is going to be about. It's going to be about great. Wanting to be an artist and all that great stuff in your past that got you here to this conversation is not going to get you much further. What's going to get you much further is bringing the strategies and the strength and the power to prove that you can do this, to persevere through all of these problems. And then once you've got there, the game's changed. You still got problems, but you're on a different track and you're in a different level. So I've rambled on long enough and I know that you want this in your heart. The next step is to make the call is to have the call with me to do the interview so you and I can get straight on this because it doesn't matter how many phone calls I have, how many videos I do, you got to have that phone call. You got to have that moment where we just come to the truth, which is just so simple. All anybody cares about is the work. And any one of you is qualified to do that work. You might have to do it a year, a couple of years before you're qualified to the level that they want, but you are qualified to do that work today. And that is, that to me is amazingly beautiful that anybody has an opportunity. Look forward to chatting with you. Make sure you sign up, make sure you make an appointment so we can talk at Game Art Institute and so that we can get this straight. Your life depends on you getting this straight so that you're not wishy-washy anymore, and I'm here to help you do that. I'll talk to you then.